In this video, you're going to learn how to program a blinking LED using a Raspberry Pi. So LED stands for light emitting diode. LEDs have been made popular by their efficiency, long lifespan, and range of color. LEDs are ideal for numerous applications such as art lighting, night lighting, and outdoor lighting. Or you can use them to up-level your cosplay ensemble. All right, real quick, before we get started, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the setup that I have in place here so that everything makes sense. So I will be using a Raspberry Pi Model 4B. It is directly connected to this monitor here. It also has a keyboard and mouse connected to it, so I can program that way if I so choose. But one thing I've done is I've connected to my Raspberry Pi over SSH over Wi-Fi on my Mac just because I'm a little bit more fluent with the terminal on my Mac, so I prefer to use that. Anyways, that is the setup that I will be using. So for this project, these are the basic components that we're going to need. We need our Raspberry Pi device. We need our T extension board. We need our 40-pin cable some jumper wires, a red LED, the breadboard, and some resistors. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and build our circuit here. All right, let's pop this guy out. All right, so we're gonna put our T-board extension onto the breadboard. So basically, there's a bunch of pins here, and we should be able to just do it like this. Let's see here. All right, so our T-board extension is in. All right, so we're gonna need a 220 resistor. There is a way to read um, these different markings on the resistor and that kind of helps you determine the levels of resistance. And then we're also gonna grab our red LED. So there are two different lengths, uh, two different length pins on that LED, so it's important to keep that in mind. All right, so it looks like we're gonna connect on line 27 and 28. These two here, we wanna go all the way inward over here, and we want the long head of the pin facing outward. So I think what we're gonna do is just come here, come over to here. Okay, that is our LED. Now we're gonna add the resistor. So instead of going, we want the resistor to be attached to the anode, which is the long head of the pin that was facing out there, and the corresponding other side here. That is one janky resistor, but should still function all the same. All right, now we got our two jumper cables, red and blue. We want the pin that aligns with the three volt, which is that guy there, and the furthest out port. And then we want, it appears to be three, one, two, three. Okay. And then we're gonna take this guy, GPIO 17. All right, so I think we have our board set up here. So one other thing we're gonna wanna do is connect our board to our Raspberry Pi, which we need this cable for, the 40 pin cable. Okay, feels like that went in. And let's go ahead and see if we can't connect this. Okay, so on our left, we have the instructions, and on our right, we are SSH'd into our Raspberry Pi. What I wanna do is download all the code that we're going to need to set this up. So I'm going to do git clone HTTP. Okay. All right, okay, so we're gonna use the Python code. So we're gonna go into the Python directory, and then there's a file called 1.1.1 blinkingled.py. So I should be able to do Python 1.1.1, and this should run the code. 
Okay, and we can see the blinking LED appears to be working correctly. So that is cool. So we can also take a look at this code. We could do vim. All right. So this, this is a fairly brief Python script. So what the script is doing is it's importing the GPIO package, which allows us to interface with the T-board extension. We're importing the time package so that we can do a delay on off sort of toggle. And then we're referencing LED pin 17 which is mapped in our um, T-board extension. And then we are defining a power level of high, which is 3.3 volt to LED 17. So I know it's a little confusing that uh, sending the low signal uh, actually turns on the LED, but apparently that just has to do with the way the symmetry of the, of the breadboard and had we built it on the other side, it might be the opposite where GPIO high would actually turn it on. So that's not really something that we need to um, get tripped up by. But the way we have it set up is low actually turns it on, high turns it off. And then something we could do is if we want to just turn it on and keep it on, we can just comment out this line here and run it again. And then here, we just turned on the LED and left it on. And then maybe we wanna change the sequence to turn on for three seconds, turn off for 0.25 seconds. And so now we can see it's turning on for three seconds and then it's turning off for 0.25 seconds. So if you found this video useful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up so YouTube knows to recommend it. Feel free to leave questions in the comments. I personally answer each and every question. I do have to admit that messing around with the circuit board and kind of seeing my creation come to life and getting that sort of tactile feedback was a lot more fun than I had anticipated. So I'd highly recommend uh, checking out one of these device kits for your Raspberry Pi. And I'll put a link to that in the description below. Anyways guys, thanks for listening.